Merry Christmas and welcome to Becoming Home. Before we get started on this episode of Christmas Cookies, I wanted to let you all know that I will not be posting a video next week. I'm going to take the week to relax and really slow down and spend some quality time with my family. I hope you guys are able to do the same and are having a wonderful holiday season. Making Christmas cookies has always been a tradition in my family and something that I want to keep doing. I want to share some of the cookies I made this year with you guys and maybe inspire you to do some baking in the days leading up to Christmas. Maybe make it a family activity. I gathered these recipes from a variety of sources and in some cases I've adapted the recipe from the original. But I want to give credit where credit is due, so if I know the source, it will be linked in the description box below. Without further ado, let's get baking. Melt half a cup of butter and let cool for several minutes. Pour into your mixing bowl and add one cup of sugar, quarter teaspoon of baking soda and quarter teaspoon cream of tartar. Beat together until combined. To this, add half a teaspoon of vanilla extract and one egg. Beat together till combined and scrape down the sides of the bowl. Gradually add in one to one and a half cups of flour. Beat until fully combined and mixture resembles a typical cookie dough consistency. Cover the dough and refrigerate for about one hour. In a small bowl or plate, mix together three tablespoons of sugar and one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon. Roll the dough into one inch bowls and then roll in the cinnamon sugar mixture. Bake at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for six to seven minutes or until edges are golden. In a bowl, combine two cups of flour, two teaspoons of baking soda, one and a half teaspoons ground ginger, one teaspoon cinnamon, half a teaspoon salt, quarter teaspoon allspice, and a quarter teaspoon of cloves. Whisk together till combined, then set aside. In your mixing bowl, put one quarter cup of softened butter, half a cup of vegetable oil, half a cup of sugar, and half a cup of brown sugar. Mix together till light and fluffy, about three to four minutes. To this, add one egg and a quarter cup of molasses, and beat until incorporated. Start adding the flour mixture slowly so that the mixer doesn't toss it back out at you. Once all the flour is added, scrape down the sides of the bowl and then mix a few moments longer. Cover and refrigerate about one hour. Put one quarter cup plus two tablespoons of turbinado sugar on a small plate or bowl. Roll the dough into one inch balls and then roll in the sugar. Bake at 350 degrees for nine to 11 minutes. Cool on the baking sheet for several minutes before removing the cookies to a wire rack. In your mixing bowl, cream together half a cup of butter and four ounces of cream cheese. Beat until smooth. Gradually add one and a half cups of powdered sugar. Next, add one egg and one teaspoon of maple extract to your mixture. Beat together. To this, add one and three quarter cups of flour, a little at a time until it's completely incorporated. Cover the mixture with some plastic wrap and chill for one hour. Remove the dough from the fridge and roll into one inch balls. Make a crisscross pattern by pressing down on the dough with a fork, dipping it into a cup of water between cookies to keep the fork from sticking. Bake for 8 to 9 minutes at 375 degrees until the cookies are just set. Let cool 10 minutes, then transfer to a wire rack. In a small saucepan, bring 1 cup of butter to boiling point. Once boiling, constantly swirl the pan until the butter passes the firmy stage and turns a deep caramel color. In a bowl, mix together 2 and a half cups of flour, 1 teaspoon baking soda and 1 teaspoon of sea salt. Whisk till combined. Once the butter has cooled, add one and a half cups brown sugar, two teaspoons of vanilla, and two eggs. Mix till fully combined. Put one cup of pretzels into a Ziploc bag and crush with the rolling pin. You don't want crumbs, but you also don't want big chunks of pretzel in the cookie, as they can be tough. Take your flour mixture and add the wet ingredients, stirring together until combined. Into this, add three quarters of a cup butterscotch chips, the crushed pretzels, and three quarters of a cup of chocolate chips. Drop the dough onto a cookie tray lined with parchment paper. Pro tip, add some extra chips to the tops of the cookies to make them look prettier. Sprinkle each cookie with a pinch of sea salt. Bake at 350 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes. Let cool several minutes before transferring to a wire rack. Measure out three quarters of a cup of pecans and chop them until fine. Set aside. In a mixing bowl, cream together one cup of softened butter, half a cup of powdered sugar, and one teaspoon of vanilla. Mix until completely combined and remember to scrape down the sides of the bowl. To this, add two and a quarter cups of flour, one quarter teaspoon of salt, and the chopped nuts. Stir together until the mixture resembles coarse crumbs. To form the cookies, squeeze the dough together to make one inch balls. These can be baked fairly close together as they do not spread out. 
Bake for 10 to 12 minutes at 400 degrees. Put some powdered sugar on a large plate. When the cookies come out of the oven, place them in the sugar, then shake the plate to completely coat them. When the cookies are completely cool, roll them in the powdered sugar again. In a large bowl, combine one cup of flour, half a cup plus two tablespoons of cocoa powder, half a teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of cornstarch. Whisk together and set aside. In a mixing bowl, combine half a cup of softened butter and three quarters of a cup of brown sugar. Mix until completely incorporated, scraping down the bowl as needed. To this, add one egg at room temperature and one teaspoon of vanilla. Mix together until incorporated. Add your cocoa flour mixture to the wet ingredients and stir with a spoon until combined. Then add one and a half cups of chocolate chips. Cover the dough and chill for at least three hours. In the meantime, count out 18 soft caramel candies. Unwrap them and press slash roll them into balls. Divide the cookie dough equally between the 18 caramel pieces. Roll the cookie dough around the caramel ball until it's hidden. Chill the cookies in the fridge for another 20 minutes. Place on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper and bake at 350 degrees for 9 to 11 minutes. Be careful not to overbake them. Let cool slightly before moving to a wire rack. Look at that wonderful soft gooey caramel. Pro tip, heat these up in the microwave to replicate that just from the oven result. Pop half a cup of popcorn, not adding any butter and just a little salt. Let it cool completely. You don't want any moisture or the cookies may get soggy. Pick out a festive tin, line the bottom with foil, and put down a layer of popcorn. Next, put in some wax paper. Fill up the tin with a few of each type of cookie. Fold over the extra wax paper and then fill in the excess space with more popcorn. The popcorn acts like packing peanuts and helps prevent your cookies from breaking in transit. Finish with a decorative piece of wrapping paper and a list of the cookies you've included. This is a wonderful, thoughtful and delicious homemade gift that can be mailed to your friends and family. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and comment below. If you haven't already, make sure and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post new content. Check out some of my other recipe videos here and watch my latest video here. As always, thanks to everybody out there watching and supporting my channel and cheers for now.